Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome to a new playthrough on the channel. After spending last week's video in the Dune world on the desert world of Iraqis, we're back to Earth this week and back in time a few thousand years. We're also back into the pandemic system again as we debut another pandemic game on the channel. This week, to commemorate the Ides of March on Tuesday, we're going to play Pandemic Fall of Rome. In this game, we're trying to stop the fall of Rome by using several of the leaders and their various powers to help us. We do need to be careful to not let any of our rival tribes of barbarians get too far out of control, because not being able to place cubes for any opposing tribe is one of the ways we lose the game. We also lose the game if we advance all the way down the corruption track, which I'll point out when we move over and take a look at the board, if we need to draw a card from the player deck but can't, or if we get Rome sacked. We win by either forging alliances with or destroying all the opposing tribes. For now, that's the 10,000 foot view of the game. Now let's start to zoom in and figure out A, who we're playing, and B, what we're up against. And we'll start off by going through my leaders. Here's our first leader. I'll move the pawn and the legions out of the way, the Vestalis. So she'll be doing everything in purple, and each leader starts off with two legions. So the Vestalis is the mystic based leader of the is the mystic based leader essentially during setup we stack all the unused event cards face down to form to form an event deck i'll point that out as well when we zoom out and take our first look at the board at any time i can discard a city card matching a color of my city to draw one card from the event deck then during the play draw two player cards step of the turn i draw three i can draw three player cards and put one of them back so I can use that if I need to kick a revolt to my partner's turn. Then there's a special ability on here with the eagle icon. So when you go to roll a dice as part of a fight action, if you roll that symbol, that's what would happen. In the case of the Vestalis, we'll move, remove one legion from the, the city. So that's I'm probably not going to want the Vestalis to do too much fighting. I'm going to probably want her to screw with the event deck a little bit more. But let's take a look at our at the Vasalis' starting hand, and from this we'll determine who determine where she starts. If we don't get a city, we can put her anywhere. So first city up. We have Narbo, which is up here. I'll point that I'll point the cities out. I'm going to apologize in advance as well, because my Latin is likely to be horrendous. So don't laugh too much at me. Second card up is Nerona, which is also upside down. That's a white card. I think we're allowed to do setup. I think we're allowed, I think we're going to do initial setup before we determine where... Let me double check how that works before I continue with the Vestalis' hand. <clears throat> um... Yes, so... Right, so we place their pawn in two legions after we do initial invasions. So, I just wanted to double check that. So, third up is Tingy, which is all the way down into Africa. But again, I'll point everything out when we get over to the board. And last up, Athene, so basically Athens. Now, as you can probably guess, we have the different colors of tribes on here. We'll need, I'll, I'll explain all that more when we move up to the board, but that's the Vasalis' starting hand. Now let's go meet her partner today. Here's our other leader today, the Magister Militum. Doing everything in pink, once in and we've got the two legions ready to go. This is definitely our fighty leader, because when you do the battle action, you reduce the number of legions you lose by one, and then if we roll the eagle on the fight, remove two barbarians from your city. So we can hopefully use him to clear barbarians out very quickly. But anyway, let's take a look at his starting hand as well. First up, we have our first event, Melius Cavere Quam Pavere. Like I said, my Latin is going to be horrendous. Better to be careful than afraid. Draw, look at, and re rearrange the top six cards of the barbarian deck, then put them back on top. Or we can advance down the corruption track. Actually, it's called the decline track, but I use decline and corruption. Just know if I use decline or corruption, I'm using the words interchangeably in this game. So you can use that to get a more powerful effect on it, but at the cost of going down the decline track. 
You can remove one of the cards from the game, then put them back on top. So that might be useful after you shuffle the deck. Then, we have Tyrus, which is way away from Rome. Next up, Petre. And finally, Constantinopolis, which I need to turn right side up once again. So way out in the middle of nowhere. Now, based on how they're supposed to, how you're actually supposed to set this up, it's supposed to be the furthest away from Roma. So the Magister Militum would actually be the first player. But for the sake of the video, I'm already, I'm going to basically just play left to right on here. So the Vestalis will actually be the first player. With that, that's our hands all set up. So let's move back to the board and finish setup. But I'll give everybody a tour of the board first. So here's our first look at the board. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but up top here I've got the recruitment slash invasion track. So depending on where the marker is, is how many legions we can recruit and how many cards we draw when we invade cities. Right now we're drawing two invasion cards, but we can recruit three legions. Then over here we've got the decline track, where if we get down to the bottom of this, that's another way we lose the game. We see Roma out here. If we get that sacked, we, just, we lose the game on the spot. So we've got the various tribes over here, but we get to resolve initial invasions. So the first three cards out of this deck are going to end up getting three legions of the appropriate tribe. So first card up. We have the Anglo-Saxons getting to Mog Mogantiacum, which is up here. So we'll put three orange cubes there. Next up. Carnatum is going to get three Hun cubes, so Carnatum is right up here. Three cubes there, and then our last one, last city getting three. Chersonesis, so out here, is going to get three cubes for the Ostrogoths. There we go. Okay, so those move to the discard pile. And then these next three cards are going to get two are going to get two barbarian cubes. First up, Jasoriakum is going to get two more Anglo-Saxon cubes. We're going to, need to we might need to try to control the Anglo-Saxons here pretty quick. Carnatum gets two Ostrogoth cubes, so Ostro so Carnatum is actually a pretty big mess right now. And our last city getting two cubes. The Huns to Philippopolis. So we'll put two green cubes there. And then these last three are going to get one. One Visigoth cube in Tyrus, which is down here. The Vandals making their debut in Mogantiacum. So that's not, that's a, also a pretty sizable mess right now. And the Visigoths getting to Philippopolis as well. So, looking at our cities right now, these all move to the discard pile. We'll end up shuffling those in later. Looking at our legions right now, um, I think we're going to put the... I think we're going to put the Vestalis in Narona, and I'll bring the bring the Magister Militum and his starting legions. Oh boy, um, he is way away from the action right now, and that's not somewhere I want him to be. Um, I think I'm going to have to put him in Constantinopolis and plan on sailing on his first turn which is one of the actions that we can do. So we're all set to play. Before we get started, I'm going to mention a house rule that I use when I play these pandemic games. So normally, when you do the trade action, you have to be in the same city and be able and only be able to trade the same city card. I have never liked that how that rule on pand and pandemic. So the house rule I'm using is as long as you got everybody on the same space, you can trade anything you want. So that's just to make my life, that's just to make life a little bit easier, but also it makes more sense 
because I figure you, I figure it just takes enough to get everybody together rather than over to the same city and it's an unnecessary waste of time. So, anyway, that's all set up. I think we're ready to start the game. So we'll start off with the Vestalis. As terrible as the Vestalis is at fighting, I think we need to send her up into... I think we need to try to clear out some of this mess in Carnatum. I can bring the Magister Militum out to help next turn. On his turn. So I'll move one to Aquileia, bringing the legions with me. Two to Carnatum. Uh, actually, better idea. I started her in Nerona, right? I think the better idea here is, is just to leave the fighting to... Magister Militum. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move one to Aquileia, two to Roma, three to recruit. So we'll recruit three more legions there. And I'll plan on... We do start with the... I assume we started with a fort in Rome. Let me just double check that real quick. Um... Place one fort in Roma. Okay. So we do start with a fort there. Then for action three, I will move three of the legions to uh, Genoa along with the Vestalis. Right now I think this is just kind of a setup turn. Then we get two cards from the player deck. So first card we find is Londinium. So we need more, we do need more orange cards. We will discard those eventually to forge alliances. And, come on, there we go, and Blue Roma, so we do get the cards, get those cards moving, but now we have two, now we, now we have to invade cities, so we're drawing two cards for that, first card up, Trying to figure out where this wants to... There we go. Alright, so invading cities works a little bit differently in the game. So the Vandal... In this case, the Vandals are trying to get to Beregdala. Which is out here. Except they're not able to get there because they don't have a foothold. So the way you do it is you follow it back along the chain. And wherever is closest to that city is where you put the cube. So in this case, the cube for them ends up in, Lug in Lugdunum. Like I said, my Latin's going to be horrendous, so don't judge me too much on that. Second card. This one, there we go. And we have the Vandals now trying to get to Lugdunum, in which they just placed a cube there, so they put a second one there. Anyway, that is it for the Vestalis. Now let's move over to the Magister Militum. So I originally wanted to have the uh, the Magister Militum sail up to Aquileia, but since the since I sent the Vestalis down to recruit in Roma, we're going to change plans a little bit. So I'm going to discard. Uh, what's it, what color? I think we're going to discard Tyrus. Roma has all the colors on it. It's hidden because of the Ford and the Legions. So the Magister Militum will sail to Roma for Action 1. Action 2, he'll move, grabbing the three Legions. Action 3, he'll move up to Carnatum. And Action 4, we need the Dice Tower in shot. Um, I'm going to put that... Let's put that here. So when you take a fight action, you roll one dot. You roll one of these dice per le per legion that you're using to fight. You, you roll up to three dice. And indeed, I'm going to roll three dice. I would like to see at least one evil on here. And remember, because of Magister Mil Militum's passive, he re reduces the number of legions he loses by one. I will zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so looking at that result, I'm actually very happy with that. So I definitely want to take out at least two Huns, because that'll stop the chains, that'll stop any sacking. Then we'll take out two of the Ostrogoths, 
And then we did roll lose a legion, but because of the passive, we actually reduced that loss by one. So that was a cube. So we end up not losing anything with the Magister Militum. So helping out by cleaning up the mess there. And then that will do it for the Magister Militum. So we need two more cards out of the player deck. So first up we find... Carpe Diem, seize the day. The current player may do two more actions this turn, or the current player may do four more actions this turn, advancing down the decline track. And... Caesarea, another black card for the Vandals. And then we invade cities. First up... The Visigoths are trying to get to Nova Carthago. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. I'm still, I'm still kind of getting over my cold. So, do we have Nova Carthago in shot? I don't think we do. There we go. So, we'll start here. Advance as far back along the chain as we can. And they find the closest they can get is Nerona from Philippopolis. And second card up. The Visigoths again, this time they're trying to get to Genoa. Thankfully, there's no foothold there. But it looks like our closest point is Aquileia. So anyway, that will do it for the Magister Militum's turn. Now let's move over to the Vestalis. A bad invasion here could see the Anglo-Saxons sacking Mugant Mugantiacum. And as much as I don't want to use her to fight, the Vestalis is the closest leader there. So, action one, she's going to move up to Mediolanum. Action two, up to Mogan, Mogantiacum. Action three, she's going to fight. <clears throat> she's got three legions, so put the dice tower there. I can never get that... There we go. I'm at a weird angle on that, trying to place that, but anyway. So we're using three legions there. We take everything out, but we lose a legion, so that's very welcome. So three and four, but we lose a legion. That was action three, action four, I'll bring the legions with me up to Lugdunum. And then that will do it for the Vestalis. Now we need two more cards from the player deck. So first up... Brindisium, another green card. One, two, three, four, seven. She'll have to discard unless this is a revolt. And it is not a revolt. It's a Barakum. So I'm going to have to look at her hand and decide what I want to discard. So we have three orange, which means I want to keep those. We've got two white and... Two, we've got two of everything else between between everybody. So I think we're going to toss... I think we're going to toss Athene here to hand size. So I think the next plan is going to be to move to get the Magist... After, well, after we invade cities. We'll talk about this plan. So first up, we have blue trying... We have the Ostrogoths trying to get to Aquileia. The closest they can get is Carnatum with the Magister Militum. Legions defend, since we have legions there, and they're supported by the Magister Militum, so we only lose one legion, and that doesn't spawn. Then, for our second card... And I actually haven't been using... I've been forgetting about the Vestalis' ability. I'll have to remember that. Fortunately, it's a Yume, so I'm not going to rewind that. And we've got the 
Ostrogoths trying to get to Constantinopolis, but they can't get there. So I'll zoom this out just a hair so you can see. Trying to get to Constant Constantinopolis, the closest they can get is Sinope. Anyway, that will do it for the Vestalis. Now the plan here, like I was saying earlier, is going to be to get the two leaders together, probably in Lugdunum, so I can start moving some cards around. But let's drop down to the Magister Militum and get into that. Action 1 for the Magister Militum will bring the legions with him. Moving over to Uvavum. Action 2 to Mediolanum. Action 3 to Lugdunum. And then Action 4 he'll take the Vesalis' Blue Roma card. He'll add that to his hand. Now I'm also expecting a revolt in the next couple turns. So... Card one. Brigd Bridigola, which is another orange card. I may try to move that over to the um I may try to move that over to the Vestalis on her turn since so I can I can also go forge an allegiance an alliance with the Anglo Saxons right here. And the aforementioned revolt that I knew was coming. So Let's move back up top to resolve the revolt. So revolt is this is this game's version of the outbreak, or like evil stirs in pandemic reign of Cthulhu, or the scourge rises in wrath of the Lich King pandemic. But anyway, so we'll move the. Invasion marker, one space to the right. Fortunately, that doesn't change anything this turn, but the next movement will change. We'll recruit one less legion and draw one more. Then this space gets three, we'll get three cubes of the appropriate tribe on it, no matter connections. The Anglo-Saxons up to Ibirakum. So we'll put three cubes up there. Then we will intensify, which will shuffle these and go back on top, similar to what you'd see in any pandemic game. Give that a good shuffle. And a cut, and we're still drawing, we're still invading two cities. So we've got a few places, we got actually have two cities that we're worried about sacking. Mogan, Mogantiacum is not one of them. We've got the Anglo Saxons trying to get there. And. Karnatum is also not one of them. We get the Huns out there. So actually the invasion of Mogant Mogan Mogantiankum is going to make my life very easy. So with that, let's move down to the Vestalis. Action one for the Vestalis is she's going to take Berdigola from the Magister Militum. Action two, she's going to leave the Legion she's going to leave the uh, leave three legions for the Magister Militum to pick up. So action 2 shall move up to Mogantia, Mogantiancum. Action 3 will discard 4 orange cards to forge an, allegiance, forge an alliance with the Anglo-Saxons. Now, they can still come out. We'll still have to fight them. But we also have a new action opened up to us is in the, in the enlist, leg, enlist Barbarians action. So now I can discard a city. I can discard a city card of a matching color in this case, orange, to turn all orange cubes into legions instead of barbarians. So that was action, action one was to trade, action two to move, three to forge the alliance, action four I will move her to, um, where's our next problem spot right now, or do I just focus on moving some of these cards around? Let me see what happens on this turn and I'll figure out where I want to move cards. So uh, action four, I'll just move her back to Lugdunum. 
And then we need two more player cards off the deck, we find. This does not want to focus for me. There we are. Roma, which now those are only good for sailing. And... That's, uh, actually, no, I take that back. That is an orange card. That is good for enlisting barbarians. Silly me. And Syracuse. So, right now I don't think we need to worry about concentrating cards just yet. But, anyway, we need two more cards, two more cities to invade. The Ostrogoths trying to get to Carnatum, so we put a blue cube out there, and Bla the Vandals trying to get to Brigdala, which they can because we, they've got the footing in Lugdunum, so we may have to use the Magister Militum to try to break that chain. <clears throat> Well, even if we break the chain, if that card comes up again, they'll still be able to get there. But, that is over to the <coughs> Magister Militum now. Um, I think for action one, he's going to... It would have to be trade, move, move, move. That would be four actions. I think I'm better off leaving that with... Leaving Roma with the Vestalis and having her plan on going up to... Uh, Ibra Ibr Ibrakum and recruiting those barbarians up there. So anyway, action one, he is going to, the Magister Militum is going to fight the, is going to fight the two Vandal cubes he here in Lugdunum. I'll bring the Dice Tower into shot. Oop. That thing is so imposing. I'm going to go grab the other Dice Tower, actually. That's the one thing I don't like about that dice tower. On a small game like this, that big, that big gigantic dice tower. I love, I love that dice tower, but it is so imposing. Whereas it's a bit easier to bring something like that in for the game. So anyway, action one is fighting on Lagoon. That's where we're at. Here. Oop. And we take everything out here with no loss to the, with no loss for the Magister Militum. Action two, we'll move, we'll take three legions with us and start working our way back to Carnatum. So action two, three, uh, wait, that's actually kind of a bad idea. Because we've got a mess over in Tersonius, Tersonisus. And we actually just reshuffled the deck. So, hmm. Action one was to fight. Action two. I'm going to move the. I'm going to move Cesare over to the Vestalis. Since I'm planning on discarding on tossing Roma to forge to uh, recruit barbarians anyway. Action, and then action three and four, I think we will work over toward Carnatum. So that was action three and four. Now two cards from the player deck. Aroma for the Visigoths, so we can use that to potentially forge an alliance. Except we need more cards of that color. And a blue Sinope. So now we can forge an alliance with the... So now we can forge an alliance with the Ostrogoths, but we need to get over there first. So two cards from the player deck. Actually, getting over there might not be too hard, so we actually invade cities. The Visigoths are trying to get to Genoa, so if we follow the chain... So they're trying to get to Genoa... The closest they can get is Aquileia. Actually, no. The closest they can get is Ravenna. And... As long as this isn't a whammy, I can stop Eberakum from being a problem. 
The, va the Vandals are trying to get to Lugdunum. So as we work backwards, they're supported by a pawn. So Legion's, the Legion will defend. I need to see something, though. If there are legions, remove one legion instead of adding the cube. Okay, so that legion goes away. And then that was a... We ducked a, dodged a bullet there. So the Vestalis' turn will actually be very simple. It'll actually be very simple and very quick, and I'll zoom out or tip the camera so I can get it. Action 1 to Lute Lutetia. Action 2 to Londinium. Action 3 to Eberacum. Action 4 will toss this orange Roma to turn all of these legion, or turn, turn all these barbarians into legions. And then I'm actually going to remember to use the the Vesalis' ability. So card 1. is another orange. We may put that back. Actually, no, we could probably use that to get rid of some more Anglo-Saxon barbarians. Action two, or card two, is a blue Aquileia. Card three. Does that want to focus? There we go. Orange Genoa. So, I think I want at least one orange card so I can recruit the, so I can recruit the barbarians up here in Jesoriacum. But what color do I want? I think I want to give, I think I'm going to give the blue card to the Magister Militum for the same reason I want the Vestalis to have an orange card. Because then I can use that to forge so then I can use that to forge an alliance, or recruit barbarians, assuming Chersonesis doesn't go completely haywire on us. So I think we're going to put... I think we're going to put Aquileia back. I think that's how we're going to do that. Plus I can use the orange card to sail anyway. So one, two, three, four, seven. That's max hand size. Okay. Now we need to invade cities. So two cards from the barbarian deck. The Anglo-Saxons trying to get to Jezoriakum, which is, actually helps us because that'll give us more legions. And... Blue trying to get to Aquileia, which they can do. The Astrogoths can get to Aquileia because they have a Cuban Carnatum, so they can complete the chain. Anyway, that will do it for the Vestalis' turn. Now we're over to the Magister Militum. And Carnatum actually isn't a huge problem right now, and I know he's getting a blue card. So I think what we'll do, I'll zoom this out just a hair. Sorry, adjusting the camera to where I want it. Okay, here we go. So the Magister Militum, we're taking a bit of a wider shot. So I'm going to toss this Roma, this white Roma card to sail to... Actually, we're going to sail to Tyrus, now that I realize my geography. Action two, I'm going to move over to Cherson Chersonesis. Action three, I'll toss three blue cards so I can forge an alliance with the Ostrogoths. So I've got two. So I've got two alliances right now, including the hardest, including the two two of the fewest cards I need. Then action four, I will fight because I, I don't want to turn. I don't want to sack Chersonesis. Yeah, Cherson yeah, Chersonesis. Ah, say that five times fast. Anyway. We got the dice tower over here. Bring that down here. Okay, so we take out two of the barbarians, and then we lose a legion, except we don't, don't because we reduce losses by one. So that's fortunate. Then two cards from the 
player deck, one of which I know. The aforementioned Aqualea that we kept. And... CV Possum Potabellum. If you want peace, prepare for war. Place a fort in any city or do the above and move one pawn there with permission. That player may take up to three legions with them. Ooh. Hmm. That's tempting. Right now, I don't think we're in a burning, scorching hot hurry for it. So I'll just hold on to that for the time being. But we need two cities. We need two barbarian invasions. First up, we have the Huns trying to get to Philippopolis. That's going to turn into a problem if we're not careful with it. And... Yellow... Or the Anglo-Saxons trying to get to Eberachum. Thank goodness we were able to clear that out. But in the chain, they can only get to Londinium anyway. So... Yeah, that's not a big problem there. Anyway, that will do it for the Magister Militum. Now we're over to the Vestalis' turn. I'm going to leave the legions there. Action... Actually, no, we're going to take two of them with us. So, action one. Action two to Jesoriacum. Action three, we'll toss... We'll toss Genoa to turn those, those three cubes into legions. And then action four, do I want to toss Jasoriakum to put a fort up there? Yeah, I think I do. Uh, yeah, we've been getting a lot up there, so I'm going to put a fort up there. And then we are going to use her ability once again, three cards from the player deck. Card one, Corduba in black, which we might want that because we're getting close to being able to forge an alliance with the Vandals. Card two, Corduba in white. We're very sore on, we're very low on white cards right now. And Constantinopolis, so we can definitely get a lot of white cards. I want to keep the Corduba in black for sure, because that'll give me one more that I need. And I don't think it really much matters anyway, because we'll, we'll end up giving the, we'll end up giving the Magister Militum a white card anyway. So, now we need two cities to invade. First up we find... The Anglo-Saxons are trying to get to Roma. So, we start here, but we work backwards on the chain. So we find that the closest they're able to get is... Mogentiancum, I think? Yes. Okay, so yeah, that's the closest they can get with no legions there. It spawns. And... The Vandals are trying to get to Roma as well. So as we follow their chain, they take a much more scenic route. Except they stop in Caesar Augusta and spawn there. Alright, that will do it for the Magister Militum. Or the Vestalis, I should say. Now we're over to the Magister Militum. And I think... I think... <sighs> hmm. Well, right now there's not a point to recruiting the... Recruiting lead barbarians right now. So I think what we'll do is action one for the Magister Militum. We'll take the legions with us. Move to Tyrus. Action two to Philippopolis. Action three will bring the dice tower back in shot so we can fight. Wouldn't mind seeing an eagle here so I can clear that completely out. Take out two legions. I'll take out the two Huns so we don't so we aren't in danger of getting it, getting sacked. That was action three. Then action four. Um. Whoa. Easy does it there. Okay. Well, I think I was able to recover that. We had one cube in Tyrus. And action four, I think we'll bring the legions with us to... Actually, I'll leave one legion there so we can defend. 
and we'll bring it to Nerona. So now we need two cards from the player deck. One of them is going to be white, because we left that on top from the from the Vestalis, now that I'm actually paying attention to her ability. Constantinopolis that we left on top, and... Philippopolis in green. So now we need to start looking at green cards as well. Potentially getting the characters together to move, to move green cards around is not a terrible idea. Anyway, two cards from the Barbarian deck first up. The Vandals are trying to get to Mogantiankum, which they can do. And... The Ostrogoths trying to get to Roma, which they, I'm pretty sure, can do, except Legions defend. So that cube doesn't spawn. Anyway, that will do it for the Magister Militum. Now we're over to the Vestalis. We don't really have any majorly pressing priorities right now. So, I don't see any cities where we're in danger of getting sacked on the spot. So, hmm, what to do, what to do. It's kind of a, it's kind of going to be a little bit of a slow turn, I think. But just because, I'll move the legions down to Mogantiakum. Then we'll fight for action two. Bring the dice tower into shot. We take out everything, but we lose two legions. Action three will bring her, bring the the Astalis down to Mediolanum. Action four to Genoa to kind of bring her back into the action of things. Then we get three player cards, one of which is going back. First card up. We have the Revolt. I'll have to see what else we've got, but we may have to bite the bullet on that. Action two. Or card two, I should say. Wow, they really want us to have a Revolt. And the way this, this, this would happen is it would be two separate Revolts. So we're going to have to have at least one this turn. Question is, do I just pull them both now? And our third card. Does not want to focus here. Let me zoom this out just a little bit. There we are. Brigdala. So I think I am going to have the Vestalis keep Brigdala for sure. We'll put one revolt back, so we're going to be having two back-to-back -back revolt turns. But anyway, we'll move back up top to resolve the first resolve this revolt. Unfortunately, we're going to start flying down the invasion track. So we move the invasion marker over. This will get filled to three. This will once again will get filled to three cubes. The Visigoths in Ravenna, which actually triggers a sacking. So, so we place that, and then we do advance down the decline track, and then the Visigoths. So the Visigoths have sacked Ravenna, which was a scary thing, which means we place cubes in each connecting city. So Roma gets one, Aquileia gets one, Mediolan Mediolanum would get one, and Genoa would get one, except legions do defend against these as well. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, and then we shuffle these, and then we intensify. So we shuffle these and put them back on top. Now we're now we only recruit two legions from a fort, but we're drawing three barbarian cards when we invade cities. I 
That's going to be a bit of a problem. All right, first card up. We've got the Ostrogoths trying to get to Roma, which they can do because it's connected on the chain. Second card up. Blue, the Ostrogoths trying to get to Aquileia. They're going to start causing us a lot of problems. And the Vandals trying to get to Roma. Joy, joy. All right. Unfortunately, I do happen to know we have another revolt coming. So we do need to be ready for that. But anyway, it is the Magister Militum's turn now. So I think what we need to do here is we need to go try to clear some of that mess in Ravenna so we don't get it sacked again. So action one, action two with the two legions. Action three will fight. And I only have two dice to use because I only have two legions to throw into this. I've got three Visigoth legions there. So we've got three Visigoth barbarians there. One and one, so at least we stop the sacking for the time being. Action four. Mm, I think we'll move down. Uh, we better get ready to defend Aquileia. So I'll move the Magister Militum with legions back there. So now we'll draw our two player card. We'll draw our revolt and our new player card. So there's our next revolt and. Carthago in black. So actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll have to discard. I'm going to keep Aquileia because I can use that to turn. I can use that to turn those legions into, or those barbarians into legions, especially if we end up invading there again. So I'm going to toss Philippopolis and rely on. Uh, actually, no. I think we're going to toss Carthago since the Vestalis is going to be forging an alliance with the Vandals on her turn. But anyway, let's move back up top and we'll resolve this next revolt. It feels like I just did this revolt thing. Oh yeah, I did just do it. So we'll move that down. Bottom card here. The Visigoths getting to Petre, which is all the way down here, and then we intensify. Uh oh, we intensify. So there's a chance we're going to get Petre sacked this turn. If we don't, it might be worth using. The, if we don't get it sacked, actually, wait a minute, that fills to three, so that should be there. Uh, does that fill, t add, oh no, add three matching barbarians, so we did a four there, which means, hold on, I gotta rewatch that footage. Okay, so false alarm, I grabbed one, I did grab one too many cubes for Petray, but we do need to be careful and hope we Hope we can duck up a tray. If we do, I may have to use the, I may have to use the uh, Magister Militum's action or event card to either shuffle it away or bury it. But we need to invade cities, and we're still nothing's changed in t terms of recruitment and invasion. Our next turn, our next time we advance down the invasion track, though, we are drawing four invasion cards. So, nope, we don't dodge Petray. So, so we do advance down the decline track. Connect, connect, connect. Legion defends. <coughs> Card two. The Ostrogoths trying to get to Roma. This is bad. We're probably going to need to deal with that and fast. And...
Blue trying to get to Blue can get to Aqualea. So yeah, we are going to need to defend that in a hurry. Which means the Magister Militum's next turn is probably going to be fighting, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Actually the Vestalis has one too many cards in her hand, so I'm going to toss a I'm gonna to toss a white card for that. Then the Vestalis will zoom in on her to take her turn. She'll move one to Narbo, two to Caesar Augusta, toss these cards to forge an alliance with the Vandals. So we've got five cards, got five cards, five Vandal cards here. So I'll toss those to forge an alliance. And action four, back to Narbo, so I can sail wherever I need to. Then we have three cards here. A green card, Carnatum. <clears throat> Lugdunum. And Roma. So I think we're going to keep the I think we're going to keep the two green cards, and I'll plan on moving those over to I'll plan on getting the getting the two leaders back together to move those the green cards from the Magister Militum over to the Vestalis. But we need three invasion cards. Uh, from I believe we advanced down the track as well if we sack. I think those are my only two advances. Okay. Never mind. We're all clear there. So, card one. Is we got the Vandals trying to get to Roma, which they can do. That's bad. Card two. We've got Black trying to get to Berdigola, which they can do. And card three. Come on. There we are. White's trying to get to Ravenna. Oh, this is bad. Fortunately, we dodged that, but right now, Pink is in the middle of a gigantic... The Magister Militum right now is in the middle, in the middle of a gigantic mess. So, I think he's going to have to start... I think he's going to have to start fighting for his life. Um, yeah. Action 1, we'll go ahead and fight right there. <clears throat> Once again, two dice because we only have two legions to fight with here. Alright, so at least we've stopped a blue sacking, plus we're starting to run low on blue cubes anyway. Action two over to Ravenna. Ravenna. Action three will fight again. And I think we're going to have to probably start recruiting legions like crazy. <clears throat> Alright, take out two of those cubes. So Ravenna is going to stop at least being a problem for the time being. Then action four, we'll move down to Roma. I'll plan on recruiting on the next turn and probably doing a lot of fighting. Anyway, two cards from the player deck for the Magister Militum. And he will... Have to actually, you know what? I think we're gonna have to do this. I think we're gonna going to. I think we're going to use Carpe DM, and we're going to advance down the decline track because I need the actions this turn. So we have four more actions. Action one, I'll recruit more legions. Our extra action, I'll recruit one more legion. <clears throat> or, action two, we'll fight in Roma. Let's see if we can clear some of that mess out. Now that I've got two tribes there potentially looking at sacking Roma. Uh, 
Okay, we clear all but one out, so I'll clear out the two tribes that were causing us the most problems. Ostrogoths and Vandals, plus we need to keep the Ostrogoth cubes under control anyway. Action three, I'll move up to Aquileia. And action four, this is actually action eight for the turn, we'll fight again, just to clear out Aquileia. <clears throat> Okay, we we remove three legion. We remove three cubes, but we lose one legion, which I can deal with that. At least Aquileia will stop being such a mess. So we'll take out one Van Visigoth and two Ostrogoth, and then that will do it for the Magister Militum's turn at last. First card, first player card up. Oh wait, I think these were. No, I already drew the two player cards for the Magister Militum before I used the. Um. Right, before I used the event. So first card up. Vandal Roma, but we already forged an alliance with them. So we might end up using that for either sailing or discard fodder. And... See if we can zoom out just a hair. That'll work. And a and Carnatum in blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will toss I'll toss the Vandal Roma because we need white cards desperately. Anyway, three cards from the Barbarian deck, we find. Blue trying to get to Car the Ostrogoths trying to get to Carnatum, which they can, because that's their starting space. Then we've got the Vandals trying to get to Mogantihankum. And the last card. The Hun's trying to get to Carnatum, so we need to. So that's another space we're going to need to potentially clear out next round. But anyway, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because it is the Vestalis' turn. Mm, I think we just work. I think we just start working her over to the Magister Militum because we don't have much else to do this turn. So actually, we're going to go one, two, three. Four will bring the Magister Militum some reinforcements. And then three cards from the deck for the Vestalis. White Aquileia. Black Athene and White Nova Carthago. So, I think we'll keep the two white cards, and we'll start working our way through the deck. Now, what I probably should have been doing, I'm actually, I could easily put the cards back face up on top once I use the Vestalis' ability, just because I know what they are, but either way. All right, and then three cards from the Barbarian deck. White's trying to get to Genoa, which they can. Next up. Orange trying to get to Roma, which they probably can't. Well, let's follow this back. Nope, looks like they get, they can only get to Mogantiankum because we've been keeping Orange pretty well clear. And I 
Green trying to get to Philippopolis. Which is once again their starting card. So the Magister Militum's turn. Um... Well, I think this is mostly going to be a, this is going to be as much of a setup turn as I can spare. So I need four green cards to forge an alliance. So I'm going to move one green over to the Vestalis. I'm going to move one white over from the Vestalis to the hmm. Yeah, we'll move one white over just so we don't have to discard like crazy. Uh, action three. He'll move up. The Magister Militum will take three legions with him up to Carnatum. And then action four, he'll fight. Now I can get to green I can get to green with the Vestalis any way I do this. So if I can leave one if I can maybe leave one there, it'll take me the fewest amount of actions to get up there. And then we just need to get white taken care of. But we clear out four. Four le we clear out four barbarian tribes, so I'll clear out the Ostrogoths from there, and we'll take two of the Huns out. Once again, because of the Magister Militum, we don't lose any legions. So two cards from the deck. First off, we find the Athene, which will probably be discard fodder right now. So that'll go away, and... Genoa. So we, need we do need white cards. I'll keep that, and I'll discard Petray. Right, and then we need three cards from the Barbarian deck. I think we're... I, I don't want to jinx it, but I think we've managed to settle the board down, where we can finish this game up. So, card one... We have Orange trying to get to Eberakum, except, Legion's def except Legion defends. Then... The Vandals trying to get to Lugdunum, which they can do. And... Orange trying to get to Jezoriakum, which we add the cube. So I was just double checking how that works with the with a fort there, but doesn't look to be any impact. So now over to the Vestalis's turn. Action one, she'll move up. Action two, she'll toss the four green cards that we need to forge an alliance with the Huns. And action three. Three and four, she'll take two of the white cards she's going to need to forge the winning alliance with the Visigoths. Then three cards from the player deck. I may just keep a white card here and save myself an action. Alright, so card one is a green, which I don't need. Unless I want to turn that into a legion, which I don't need to right now. Card two. Oh, come on. Roma. I really don't need green cards here, but I might be ending up with them anyway. And... A white card, Ravenna, which I will keep. And I'll, I have to keep a green card, essentially. So... We'll just put that back on top face up, and then we need three cards from the deck. So first Barbarian card. Is Orange trying to get to Mogantiakum, which they can do. The Huns trying to get to Roma, which they can't do. They can get to Petray, though. And card three. Is the Visigoths trying to get to Nova Carthago, but the closest they can get is Narbo. 
And we're not going to run, I don't think we're in danger of running out of cubes here anytime soon. So, now over to the Magister Militum. Let's see, I want to try to clear out some of this mess. So that's a port city, right? Yes. All right, I'm going to leave a legion, I'm going to leave two legions here for action one as I move the wrong character. That should be the Magister Militum. Action two, I'll toss Kent Constantinopolis to sail to Petrae. Action three, the Magister Militum will fight there. Clear out three legions. We'll take out two of the two Huns, one Visigoths, and we don't lose a legion because we don't because we're the Magister Militum. And then action four, we'll move up to Philippopolis, and then we need two player cards. One of which is the green card that the Vestalis kept or the Vestalis put back on top, and. A revolt. So let's move back up top and resolve that revolt. I don't want to jinx it, but short of a chain sacking catastrophe here, I think we're going to pull this one off. So we move the invasion marker down one, down one more step. So now we are drawing four cards from the invasion, from the barbarian deck. And we add three cubes. We had three green cubes to betray. So the Huns reinforce themselves in betray. Then we intensify. And now we draw four now we draw four cards. And I'm hoping for no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. I think the only place where we're in danger of sacking right now is Petray. Petray from the Huns. So first up. We've got the Ostrogoths getting to Carnatum, except Legions defend, and they're supported by the Vestalis there. So no cube placed. The, Ostra, or the Vandals trying to get to Berdigola, which is another potential sacking city, but I think we're going to, like I said, I think we're still going to duck it here. Orange getting to Jesoriacum once again. There we are. And... Come on. White's trying to get to Nova, the Visigoths trying to get to Nova Carthago, which they can do. All right, so over to the Vestalis. Her turn is going to be very simple. Action one, she'll move down to Aquileia. Action two, she'll toss the, she'll toss five, the five white cards that we needed to forge an alliance with the Visigoths, and we have won the game. So let's move back up top and we'll wrap this video up. Thankfully, we were able to keep the sacking largely in check in this game, and we were able to pull it out with not, I wouldn't say, like, not the greatest of ease, but not the not any kind of effort that would ruin us either. But, anyway, that will do it for this playthrough of Pandemic Fall of Rome. Next week, we'll step into another deck builder on the channel, and we'll have another new game to debut on the channel, though you'll notice a lot of similarities to another game we played last year. Next week, to commemorate my one-year anniversary of tabletop gaming on the channel, we'll play Hero Realms and try again to start a background campaign. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, 
and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.